Hello and welcome to another episode of the Adobe Creative Suite Podcast. My name is Terry White and in this episode we're going to pick back up where we left off with my episode on how to create websites with Adobe Muse. As a matter of fact, that website was overwhelmingly received positively, but one of the things that people ask for tremendously and over and over again is how to create links and buttons. In other words, it kind of left you hanging, got you started on the site, but if you really want to start linking to other pages or linking to other sites, how do you do that? How do you make a button? How do you make a link? How do you do rollovers and all of the above? So let's come back to this episode and get started. I have the Muse website open that we wor last worked on. So I'm just going to go ahead and double click on the home page where we want to put our button. And I also have Photoshop open. Now this is not a requirement, but it is a feature of Muse where if you have a Photoshop graphic and you've gone ahead and created layers that represent your various states. So in other words, I have an up state that's dark blue and an over state that's lighter blue. And again, this could be an effect, a glow, a shadow, any kind of effect that makes it look different when someone hovers over it. You can actually use those states inside Muse. So let's go ahead and head back over to Adobe Muse. And what I want to do now is I want to place, uh, I have a Twitter button and I have a Facebook button. So I want to place those buttons maybe over here on the right hand side. So you'll notice that there is a place command, just like InDesign, where you would place graphics and text. Um, but in this case, it's the place Photoshop button. And again, this is in the case that you built a button in Photoshop. It's a Photoshop PSD file with layers. So we're just going to go ahead and say place the button. And again, I can grab um, multiple files here. Uh, actually, I can grab multiple files when I'm placing an image, but when I place a button, it is one at a time because you do have to answer the question next, which is, what do you want your, your states to be? In other words, uh, your composite state would be your up state, for example. Your over state is self-explanatory when they hover over it. You can also have a mouse down state and an active state. So you can actually have up to four states for your Photoshop button. We only built two, the up or a slash composite, and over, so those are the ones we'll use, and they're, they've already been identified. So we'll just click OK. Then my placement gun loads. It asks me basically where do I want to put this button. I click to put it on the page, and again, if I just click instead of drag, it will always come in at actual size. Now let's go back and get the Twitter button. So once again, file, place as Photoshop button. We'll grab the one for Twitter. Same thing, it asks me if I want, you know, what's my composite or upstate, what's my overstate, downstate, and active state. So we'll click OK, and we'll just go ahead and put that one right next to it. And again, uh, with things like smart guides, we can make sure they're lined up nice and neatly. And let's see, get it right about there. OK, so now we've got our buttons, and even if we preview this right now, right in Muse, we can actually preview the interaction of the rollovers. But clicking those buttons wouldn't do anything because, alas, there are no links to them. They're just buttons on the page with a rollover state that don't go anywhere. So now, how do we do this? If we just click on the Facebook button, for example, you'll notice that there's a hyperlink option right here on the toolbar. And that hyperlink option is actually in two places. There's one here that basically sets the controls or expands the options. And this is where you actually put the link itself, and you even have the ability, if you're linking to something on a longer page, to do a, um, an anchor. So you can basically you know, create an anchor, link to something that's further down on the page, so the user clicks and it scrolls right to it. So you have all of your linking options right here. Okay, so now that we know what the, um, what the links are for, or how to do the links, let's go ahead and create one. So we have the... Facebook link here, we're just going to say that I want that to open in a new window or tab. And we're just going to go ahead and call this uh, Facebook fan page, just so um, we can keep it nice and neat there in the HTML. And now we're just going to actually click over to where we actually want the hyperlink. And this is where you can actually type it in or paste it in. So this would go to facebook.com. Uh, and I'll, I'll put in just a sample, Terry White fans for now, but of course I would link that to the actual site's fan page. Okay, and the same thing for Twitter. I would do the exact same thing here. I want it to open up in a new window or new tab. And again, that's an option. 
and we're just going to say that this is Twitter. And then we go over and put the Twitter URL, which is twitter.com forward slash Terry L. White. So you can follow me on Twitter as well. Okay, so now that we've got both of those in, we can go ahead and test it right in the browser. So we'll just go ahead and say um, preview page in browser. And that will bring up the page and allow us to test again, once again, our rollovers and actually click to test if we make sure we typed in the link properly. And we did. It took me to my fan page. And once again, we'll test the one for Twitter. And if I typed it incorrectly, it takes me to my Twitter page. So those are active working links in your Muse site ready to be deployed, ready to be used. And again, you can line up these buttons or put them any way you want, wherever you want on your page. So that is how you'd work with uh, buttons from Photoshop. Now, what if you just want to turn something else into a button or a link? For example, uh, the date for our meeting is March 18th. And I want, if someone happens to click on that calendar, I want them to actually take them to the meetings page. So this is not linking to an external site. This is actually linking to another page in Muse. So all I have to do is select the object. It, again, it's not a Photoshop button, button with multi, multiple layers. It's just an object. So I'm just going to go in. And again, I don't want to have to type in a URL and figure out what the page is. But if I just click the little pull down menu, it knows about the rest of the Muse pages. So if I say take this to the meetings page, that's where that will go. So automatically, that's how you link from within one Muse page of your site to another Muse page of your site using a graphic. I've done it before, I think in the last episode, with a hyperlink uh, in the text, but it would be the same thing. You'd highlight the text, create the hyperlink that way. So in a nutshell, we've covered most of the ways that you're going to create links inside of your Muse, Adobe Muse website using buttons, Photoshop buttons, graphics, and I believe in the last episode we covered text links, which is the same technique. So that's it for this episode of the Adobe Creative Suite podcast. My name is Terry White. Thanks for watching.